All right, we're back at Black Point. It's April 12th. See what's going on. We just had some uh, storms go through a few days ago. We got real windy, got a little bit of rain. Not enough that it really should affect it, but uh, it doesn't take much wind to stir up the bottom, especially when there's no seagrass or nothing to hold the sediments down. So not nearly so clear as it was last month when I was here. But you know, you can see somewhat to the bottom. So is there grass? Really hard to tell. Even I'm in a foot and a half of water, I can't tell what's growing out there. So I'm gonna put the cameras down, see what's going on. Where's the seagrass in the Inner River Lagoon? I'm gonna try to find out. Well, I checked out the tapes in Black Point. First thing I noticed was, uh, which I wasn't surprised, the water clarity wasn't near as clear as before, but we just had a lot of rain from a pretty big storm and it blew really well. And without the seagrass, it really did kick up the sediment. The good thing is there's more seagrass. It seems to be growing more um, than what was there at the previous month. <laughs> not much, not much to speak of. I mean, it can be easily wiped out very easily, you know, with one more event, one big water uh, discharge, or who knows what's been killing the seagrass. But uh, it's growing a little bit, and there's some other type of vegetation growing too, I call tumbleweed. That's kind of mixed in with the mix. But uh, I know to the north, they just had a fish kill, brown tide, in the upper part of the Inner River Lagoon. Uh, that is not a good thing. And summertime, we have to deal with the red tide. And that's a different different type of uh, event that we have. So it's not looking good in the lagoon. It's looking better than last month. Um, I will be back out to Black Point again um, here in uh, about two or three weeks. Check it out again and uh, see what direction it's going. Hopefully, hopefully with this little bit of a drought that we're in, it will give it a chance for that seagrass to start growing. So until next time, this is Pete Hink. Please, you know, subscribe to my channel if you like it. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.